Now at 5.30, a plan to encourage developers to build more affordable housing in San Jose. Why a compromise on rent control is getting backlash from all sides. Good evening, I'm Alan Martin. And I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. A big meeting bringing all sides together today. KPX 5's Devin Feely on what city leaders are trying to accomplish. The mayor says the two goals of the changes that are being considered is first to preserve the existing inventory of affordable housing while at the same time encouraging new development. But tenants, their advocates and property owners have all found reason to oppose it. What do you do when you don't have nowhere to stay? You see people all the time walking up and down the street with baskets with no place to live. And, and I wonder how they got like that. Now I'm thinking. Terry Wills fears that she too could someday fall into homelessness as the city considers a weakening of protections on rent controlled properties. It doesn't provide protections. In, in fact, if you encourage property owners to tear down apartments, that's not protection at all. That's losing your home. If you live in that apartment, you're done for. Under the current law, if a landlord tears down an older property to build new rental units in its place, either the same number of units or half of the new building, whichever is greater, must be affordable. The city wants to ease that requirement, saying it discourages development. We ought to enable those projects to move forward with private financing because we don't have enough public dollars to finance those projects. But some property owners say the city's plan simply doesn't go far enough. They fear that new restrictions and regulations on rental properties will eventually put them out of business. The lack of housing caused the affordability issue. So the more regulation, whatever it is, it's got to hurt um, the more housing uh, goal. Tenant advocates say that where this change falls short is in providing protections for the displacement of the people living in those units while they are torn down and something new is built in their place. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX 5. The city estimates 72% of the people displaced from a rental unit by new construction end up leaving the city. A series of projects that could get hundreds of homeless people off the streets of San Jose are finally getting off the ground. KPX 5's Under Mayor is live at one of the sites of, of, of one at Azure Avenue in San Jose. He has details. Len? Well, this is going to be a very big project, six stories high, 130 units of housing. And although neighbors uh, may you know, tend to support the idea of housing for the homeless, many of them don't want a project this big in their neighborhood. But that's not the case here. In fact, many neighbors actually support it. The Azurey Delmas neighborhood is one of San Jose's oldest, a mixture of century-old homes and light industrial on the west edge of downtown next to highways 280 and 87. And because of its proximity to freeway ramps and bridges, it also attracts the homeless. Well, they're in our neighborhood. They just live in tents. They live under the bridges. And I think it's a whole lot better to get them into housing somewhere. And that somewhere is going to be right in the middle of Sarah Springer and Burt Weaver's neighborhood. They're part of a homeowners association that worked to fit the Azure Avenue residential project into the neighborhood instead of fighting against it. It's a whole lot better than having a, an empty lot or abandoned, dilapidated buildings. I think uh, we're, we'd come out way ahead on this. What's in it for a neighborhood to help get a project like this forward? What's in it for all of us is that we take people off the streets who are suffering. County Supervisor Cindy Chavez says the 130 units of housing to be built here will prioritize the homeless and the very low income. Some of them will come directly off the streets, some may be in transitional housing, some may be coming from the hospital. The project is one of three new housing projects to be approved tomorrow, all made possible by the 2016 bond measure A. Since then, 1,400 units have gotten the green light, part of a goal of 2,800, but many are still a year or more from being built. We just need a little patience from the community because, you know, building apartments from the ground up doesn't happen with a magic wand. You know, you've, you've got to pour concrete and and get it built. Sarah and Bert moved to San Jose seven years ago from the Texas Gulf Coast area after one too many hurricanes and it's where they plan to stay. We're ready to welcome new neighbors to come in and whether it's in affordable housing or not, we want, we're welcoming. Now we talked about the timeline just a bit there and the timeline for this is that it will be uh, likely approved tomorrow then a month or so later a groundbreaking and then about two years later we'll have actually people living here reporting live in San Jose Len Ramirez KPIX 5.